Look, when you are ready, your wrist should be a little bit of a tense there, should be a little bit cocked upward, like that. That way, I have some power in my wrist already. Let's say shuttle comes back and side. From here, I just change grip, and then already my power is on my wrist. I can hit it. But some players, they do that. I call it dead wrist. Here, look, shuttle comes back ends. He can't hit it like this. So he has to go up, change grip. He needs to do two, three things more when his wrist is like that. Look, opponent drive to my body. If my wrist is like that, I can't hit it. Not enough time. But if my wrist is a little bit like that, and the opponent attack my body, it's ready. There. So do not make your wrist dead. What happened? Four in the side. Shuttle come. This player has to go up and then hit. Busy. If this player wrist is like that, just to change grip, I'm ready to hit. Ready, like that, up, high, below. Not too much like that. I don't mean that way. But a little bit higher. The racket head must be higher than wrist. That is correct. Like that. And the shuttle come, quickly. I just change grip and I'm ready to hit. Bang. Same back. Here, go. Floppy. Rare. I just go. I'm ready to hit. Drive under. Like that, right? I go. I can hit. Like that. I go. I can't hit. I have to do something else to hit it. It takes two, three times longer. Now, at this moment, maximum power grip is 10 or zero, nothing. When you are having the ready grip, you must have a power two. Power two. Not too relaxed, not too tensed. If you're too relaxed, changing the grip takes longer. So reasonable amount of uh, Tension should be in your finger, here. So from power 2 to power 10, faster than power nothing to power 10, it takes longer, you lose your control. So look, not like that, I call it power nothing. Wrong. Power 10, two tenths wrong. Your hands, finger must feel the grip. Gently. So you, when you change grip, you will change grip accurately. Sometimes you need to change 10%. Sometimes you need to change 30%. If shuttle is completely in front of me, I have to change 100% panhandle grip. But if shuttle is a little bit side of me, but still a little bit in front, then I change 30%. If you have a right ready grip, you will be able to change the grip accurately for each shuttle box. Having wrong grip, wrong ready grip, 
ruins many badminton players' shots. And once you have a wrong grip, it is uh, one of the harder skills to correct. Very, very difficult to correct. So if you want to smash like a pro player, if you want to make a shot as accurate as a pro players, then number one thing to do is study the ready grip first. And then you have a chance to do that. Right grip means the first button of T-shirts. If you have a wrong grip, wrong ready grip, the first button of your T-shirts is wrong. It doesn't matter whatever you do, at the end you will find you are wearing the T-shirts wrong way. Because the first one is wrong. Grip is like that. The most important thing in badminton, technical wise, make your ready grip right. This is a 50% backhand, 50% forehand, ready. From there, you cannot see my racket face. So I am equally, accurately ready for 50, 50. But some players ready like that. 70% forehand already. He or she might think, okay, they might hit my forehand, so ready forehand like this. Wrong. Some players have uh, already 70% backhand grip. As you saw, you can see my racket face. And then they have a lot of problem on their forehand side. So do not ready for backhand. Do not ready for forehand. Ready both sides. And then change your grip after you saw the shuttlecocks. <laughs>